Hello, I don't have a greenhouse so I grow very few seeds but seeds that I do like to grow are courgette seeds. You don't get very many in a packet because they're really very big seeds indeed. And the good thing about that is that I can put one seed in one pot in compost and it can sit on the windowsill in my conservatory and that acts like a greenhouse. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some compost into the pot. Now the compost I'm using here is a mixture of ordinary potting compost that you get from the garden centre and something called vermiculite which you also get from the garden centre. It's a naturally occurring mineral that's treated so that it actually makes very good seed compost. I have a mixture here and I'm going to fill my pots with the mixture. I've filled the pots with seed compost and it's quite dry at the moment and we will water it later but dry is good just now. So I will tip my seeds into my hand now you can see the size of them. They're probably round about one centimeter long and I'm just going to use one of the pointy ends to push it into the compost and push it down maybe about two centimeters. And when I've pushed it down sufficiently just cover it over. Now the seeds are all planted, one in each pot and the six pots are sitting in a tray and now we need to water it. Now the best way to water it so we don't disturb the compost and we don't disturb the seeds is from the bottom and I'm going to pour water into the base and probably put more in than you expect because it will soak it up. We'll need to leave it for a little while, maybe about half an hour to soak up as much as it wants. So I'll put plenty of water in once these pots of compost have absorbed all the water they want, I will pour away the excess water and slip a plastic bag like this one over the whole thing. And it creates a mini greenhouse effect and helps the, the seeds to germinate better. And I'll put that on the windowsill where it will be nice and warm and I expect them to germinate probably about seven to 10 days. Once they've germinated, these seeds, these little plants, will continue to grow on a windowsill. Perhaps not this one because it's quite a sunny one. Once they've germinated, I might move them to a non-sunny windowsill where they'll get plenty of light, but they won't get fried. And in about eight weeks time, so we're talking about the middle of May probably, when the weather is fairly settled and hopefully there won't be any more frost, that will be the time to plant them outside. Now it's always a good idea with seedlings to just ease them gently into the outside world. So perhaps put the pots outside during the day, bring them in again at night and do that for a week or two and it hardens them off. So it's not quite such a shock to the system when they do go out properly. Once these seeds have germinated and you'll start seeing the leaves, they're quite chunky little plants, but what you don't see is the root system getting going. And by the time these plants are ready to go outside, they'll have quite a substantial root system in here, and that will hold the whole compost together. So when I do put them into my bigger pot, the whole thing should hold together and I don't have to disturb the roots. Now I'll be putting them one per big pot into something like this, that size or possibly even bigger. They're quite greedy plants so they need a lot of space and they need feeding as well. So compost in here, take the little plant out of the little pot, pop it in there, make sure it's firmly bedded in and then just to give it a helping hand at the beginning of its life outside, I these days tend to put a bell cloche on top of it and what it does is it just protects the plant a little bit and it sits on top of the pot like that 
I usually have to fix it down because it's a bit windy here and it does two things again it creates like a mini greenhouse so it's protecting the plant from the worst of the weather from the extremes of the cold it does have a little vent here so it shouldn't get too hot in here but you maybe need to keep an eye on the sun and the other thing it does quite well is as long as you don't have any slugs in here to begin with it helps to keep the slugs out because there's nothing the slugs like better than a nice tender courgette stem and all your hard work growing these plants on will have been wasted if the slugs get them once they're bigger and the the stems the plant is is more robust the slugs don't really make such a difference it's just when they're young and tender and it won't be long before you have a crop like this to enjoy <laughs>